bit of property that we have for sale in the community of Richmond Park, Knob Hill. This is an incredible three-story, modern-style, contemporary property. It's listed for a million four, and you're going to be seeing some amazing finishing details come to life here over the next month as this home is finished. Still under construction, I have a unique opportunity to show viewers what party wall construction looks like. One of the most repeated conversations I have with people is talking about the way an attached property is developed. Now when a developer looks at building on a subdividable inner city lot, they have the opportunity to develop two detached homes or possibly two attached homes. There's advantages in either scenario. Now with a detached home, what happens is that the homes have to be built four feet from the property line. So you see these two homes with about eight feet between the two of them. Now not fully utilized space, usually for the most part, sometimes just a pathway through to the backyard. The advantage with an attached model is that a developer can maximize the amount of usable living space and develop all the way to the property line utilizing that last extra four feet. Often I find as we go out and look at properties with people who are buying these types of homes, you'll go into the detached model and as you step into the attached type homes, you can really feel the difference that that extra four feet makes. Maximizing square footage is something that is very desirable for anyone looking for a property in the inner city. Here's the process of the party wall construction as I describe it. Now, construction may vary from builder to builder. Occasionally, a builder may develop a concrete party wall dividing the two homes. What happens more commonly is the following. Two by six wood frame construction separated by an air gap between the two homes. The two by six framing is stud offset. What that means is that the wood doesn't align and that way when it's offset with an air gap you don't get sound resonance happening where the vibrations travel from one side to the other side and above that there is drywall on the inside insulation in the framing there's a uh, fire barrier and a soundboard which divides the two homes the air gap and then that whole construction repeats itself 2 by 6 framing insulated and drywall. The end result is a substantial amount of building material, soundproofing, and fire protection dividing these two homes. In terms of soundproofing, one of the common examples that we give is if you had a stereo turned to a high volume in the home which is attached and a similar stereo turned to the same high volume in a detached home, one of these older type bungalows which are in these inner city communities, it may be more likely that you hear the music in the detached older bungalow than it would be for you to hear anything coming from the home which has actually been built attached. For more questions about construction, please contact the Ramage Group. For more details about this home, check out our website, theramagegroup.com. I'm Lucas Ramage. Thanks for watching.